Uh, hey, what's going on, guys? Um, it's currently um, kind of late in the morning, or late enough where I think both my parents are up right now, so I'm probably gonna have to keep it down. So sorry if the audio is really quiet or I don't know, just unclear or whatever, and or my voice just sounds weird because I just feel like I can't talk like out loud because it'll just be really, um, I don't know, awkward. But yeah, um, today I thought it would be a good idea to talk about, I guess, um, I really don't know. Let me just think of something to talk about. Okay, so since I can't really think of anything good right now, um, I'm just gonna talk about what I kind of had planned in my head but wasn't sure if I should make. And that's gonna be the, um, I guess, necessity and impossibility of no fat for needs, which is basically just gonna be my opinions on what I think about no fat and I don't know, like the whole movement, whether it works or not. And um, yeah, it's my personal experience with it. And I don't know, uh, for me, well, first of all, I think that there's a lot of skepticism around OFAP and I guess the science surrounding it is kind of iffy to say the least. There hasn't been like that much like research um, I guess measuring like how no fab streaks affect I don't know various like physical physiological I guess aspects of the body like heart rate or I don't know maybe like testosterone levels or whatever but regardless um, personally I feel that it does have a certain effect on me um, and I imagine for most guys too. And um, I think this is because uh, some research talks about how basically uh, constant um, fapping or repeated choking the chicken, uh, I guess. Um, so it's kind of funny talking about this. Um, it has been shown to um, basically reduce the body's ability to um, use testosterone. So it's not that your testosterone like, goes down or like your testosterone levels, like like when you fat, like it comes out of your, your pee hole, I guess. Like it doesn't work like that, but. So there's a lot of people saying that, oh, your testosterone is unchanged when you fat, therefore fapping is not inherently bad, but um, at least how I understand it, I'm not sure because I'm not like a scientist, nor am I smart enough to be one. But um, basically, yeah, like you have these little like receptors, which are like uh, locks and the testosterone is like the key. Uh, and these, these locks are locking your, I guess, your masculine traits or the stuff that's affected by testosterone. So when you fap, you basically destroy the locks. So you might have a lot of keys floating around in your bloodstream, but um, because um, all the locks are busted, you can't unlock your, I guess, male potential, if that's even important. But I don't know, I think it is for me, like when I spill my seed, um, I do feel a lot of negative effects um, from it. And for example, I feel like I'm a lot more moody and I get a lot more like irritate, ir irritable and um, angry at things. Like for example, when I'm playing League of Legends, if I'm on a streak, I'll be more calm, more measured when I'm, I don't know, doing stuff more analytical. But when I'm, uh, when I just fat the day before even, or yeah, like maybe like right after fapping, I'll often become really like whiny, like I'll, I'll rage when I'm playing League, but it'll be not like a, 
kind of like a manly like oh like it's kind of like fucking bad example like um not like a like fuck but it's more like fuck like extremely whiny so like you can almost like hear the testosterone like leaving my voice it's almost as if like my balls like undrop and my voice becomes super high pitched and like whiny and it's kind of a reflection of my i guess the change in my mental state where i just become like really really like just like i don't know how to put this without saying i don't know I just become like a bitch basically like i'm already one and uh fapping just takes it to the next extreme where i become like a i don't know twice the twice the b that i am and yeah so there's that and also i feel like this brain fog I mean, it feels good for like the first five minutes five to 30 minutes depending on you know how how well i bust <laughs> how uh how fat of a nut i bust uh but afterwards um well I don't know i just feel like really i feel like my anxiety becomes a lot worse and i feel like that whininess is this that whininess is kind of like this has the same underlying cause or it has the same underlying cause as my whininess where um what are you saying like yeah um yeah it just makes it really hard to function i guess and sorry, I'm like lacking sleep right now. Um, yeah, my what was I even saying? My whininess and my um, oh yeah, my anxiety. Yeah, so I become really anxious, and I can almost like feel it in my body where I just have this like tension that is kind of in my in like my pelvic area, I guess, basically like. Should I even be talking about this? Like, <laughs> whatever. Um, yeah, like where my taint is basically. And I feel it there and I just become even more socially anxious. And like, I don't know, unable to talk is like I'm just such a massive state of brain fog. And also I feel various things like my eyes become dry I feel like I get slightly more pimples on my face or like more inflamed skin, flaky skin. I feel like my hands are dry regardless of the um, weather. And yeah, it's just overall not a good feeling. Um, I don't know if it has to do with like all the nutrients being lost or whatever, the decreased testosterone usage by the body. But yeah, um, overall, it's just not a good thing when i fap even just once a day i feel these effects and i feel like i only get out of it um when i um don't do it for like two to three days and i supplement with things like zinc and vitamin d um but yeah uh so with all that you might be thinking that i am a no fap um sage like monk mode sage where I don't do it for like months at a time but despite feeling these effects and um wanting to be like that I mean it's just impossible as a neat and I don't know um firstly that's because well you're well at least for me but I'm pretty sure for most neats like we're basically sitting in front of our computers all day or if not a computer like maybe like some sort of like tablet device or even like our phones and we just sit in front of this screen and this device and it's basically it's basically like a gateway to all the um all the can i say the word all the prawn all the porn in the world and yeah so it's like a gateway to all that and you know once personally once i go on to one of these sites for the things that i like 
and I just can't stop scrolling because I'm looking for that one thumbnail. <laughs> can't fucking believe I'm talking about this. <laughs> I'm looking for that one thumbnail with that, I don't know, that girl that just... <laughs> wow, I'm gonna get banned, aren't I? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for that one girl that just hits all the right spots. Body type, face, the size of her jugs, I guess. Pretty faces are pretty important to me, although sometimes I'm just, you know, I don't know. Looking, okay, I'm not going to go into detail about my preferences, but yeah, anyways, I find this perfect thumbnail and I click on it and then I have to play the video once I'm on the page so I play it and then you know I guess I'm watching the video I'm getting I'm getting hot and bothered and you know maybe <laughs> why the fuck am I talking about this on YouTube this is literally the worst idea this is probably gonna get de deleted so if you're watching this, enjoy it while it lasts. Um, yeah, I guess pretty much how it goes, like get hot and bothered, you know, I'm like, okay, maybe I'll start, I'll just put my hand on my, on my Johnson and, you know, maybe just rub it a little bit and, <laughs> um, yeah. And then one thing leads to the next, um, you got the, you got the, the fast, the fast uh, stroking motions and well, can't stop, you're clicking through the video to get to the, to, to the good parts, I guess. And well, what do you know, just busted a fat nut. And then while it's happening, even though I'm on this no fap, this no fap grind, it's like, I don't know like you're you're coming up with like rationalizations like oh i'll 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 start again next time you know it's just one day oh you know i'm probably just imagining the side effects of no fap it's all placebo like you know probably nothing bad's gonna happen i'm just imagining things i'm i am a useless piece of crap either way so might as well and you know you come up with all these rationalizations and then all of a sudden you're like yeah this is a great idea i'm just gonna you know i'm gonna bust a fat, a fat one right now and you know fuck it all like this is pretty much the only thing that matters in my life right now and well you bust it feels amazing for like five to 30 minutes depending on how good you bust it and then afterwards that's when you start to feel the side effects by the way, I forgot to mention that. I also feel like my injuries, like if I get a cut or if I hurt my arm during exercising, I feel like that slows down the healing process. And also I feel like all of a sudden I get all these aches and pains for like a day or two and like the parts of my body that are normally um, like affected by my bad posture. And yeah, so there's that. And you know, it's impossible because I guess his needs were in front of our devices. We're all lonely, I think most of us. We don't have a significant other. We don't have any responsibilities or jobs to keep us occupied, keep our minds away from that sort of, I don't know, activity thinking. And well, I guess typically when I'm surfing the web or I'm playing video games, all of a sudden, it's during those times when I'm like, I guess, fiend, fiending for dopamine that I just get that that urge suddenly hits and that's what basically starts the process and leads to me fapping, which is why I think my point of this video is that I think that not for all guys, because I'm sure, you know, we're all built differently. We all have different levels of testosterone are affected by different things. And I feel that, you know, maybe it might not matter for some people, but for me, and I'm sure for a lot of guys, it does. So yeah, like no fab does matter for us in the sense that, you know, we do feel a lot better when we don't, you know, choke the chicken. 
Um, trying to think of some other euphemisms. Choke the chicken. Um, stroke the snake. Pet the snake. I don't know. <laughs> what am I even doing with my life right now? Um, yeah. Um, wow. I can't believe I just recorded a video about fapping going into a uh, not complete detail but pretty graphic detail i'm not graphic but you know what i'm saying i'm uh, beginning my journey to becoming a lol cow i guess um and not in a good way <laughs> but yeah um i think it's important for a lot of guys and yet really hard as a neat so that's basically when I get, I wanted to get into, you know, I guess just being bored is another reason to fap or, you know, being lonely and maybe wanting to fantasize about what it's like to be with, you know, a person of the opposite, the opposite gender or sex is the more accurate term, although I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say that either. But yeah, anyways, um, this is probably some of the highest quality content on YouTube right now. Some, some lonely Asian neat um, talking about how he, he beats his, um, I don't know, he beats his pickle, whatever. And yeah, um, what has the world come to? What has my life come to? I have no idea, but I literally just, okay, going, I'm probably repeating myself by now. So I think that's a good signifier of the fact that it's a good time to end this video. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quality content and um, yeah, um, good luck on your nofap journey if you're doing that. Peace.